Hi, hello again. This is Lawrence of Silicon Valley High School, and we are continuing a video tutorial series about event handling techniques. In our previous video, we have discussed different ways on how to do event handling in our GUI code. So we can create event handlers and we can separate our GUI component from our event handler creating two separate Java source codes. Another way is by creating our event handler and our GUI component within the same class, or we can use an inner class. So we can create a class within a class. The inner class will serve as your event handler, while your outer class can be your um, GUI application. And of course, the last, but we haven't um, demonstrated this yet, is by we can use what we call anonymous classes. This is, uh, these are some uh, of the different ways that we can uh, do event handling techniques and you can actually combine um, all of them all together in, in a single application. Uh, one of my students earlier asked me when am I supposed to use listeners and when are they supposed to use adapter classes? Well, I've written a sample code here that demonstrates um, the use of listeners and also um, we will try to convert this by using adapter classes. So what are listeners? Let's take a look at the uh, documentation. Listeners are interfaces. So if you look at the list of interfaces here, these are all listeners. Okay? So which means we need to implement them. Based on the rules of Java on interfaces, whenever you implement a, a listener, let's say action listener, you're supposed to override all the methods listed in that interface. In this case, action performed that accepts an action event. Now, some of the listeners here, like action listener and item listener, they only have single methods. For item listener, you only have one method called item state change. But there are some listeners that have multiple methods like for window listener if you want to uh, create an interface uh, if you want to create an event handler for frames for windows or for dialog boxes you can use window listener now for window listener there are a whole lot of methods i think there's seven of them okay so we've actually used window closing in our previous code now some listeners that has only a single method like action listener and item listener, that's all that they are. They are the, we only have what we call listeners for both of them. But listeners like window listener right here that has multiple methods, it has a corresponding adapter class. So for window listener, we have what we call a window adapter class. Now, if you see the suffix adapter, adapters are abstract classes, all right? Now, they also have multiple methods inside, but the nice thing about adapter classes are you can only, or you only need to uh, override the method that you need. So, for example, if I will extend an adapter class, take note, I need to extend it because it's an abstract class. So if I need, if I extend an, an, a window adapter class, I just need to override the method I, that I need. I don't need to override all of them. Same thing is true with some of the listeners right here. Let's say mouse listener, you have one, two, three, four, five, five methods. Okay, so if you implement mouse listener, you're supposed to override all five methods. But if you extend the adapter class version, so mouse listener, let's take a look at let's take a look at mouse adapter. Mouse adapter is an abstract class. You only need to override the method or methods that you need. You don't need to override all of them. For mouse listener, for example, mouse motion listener, sorry, mouse motion listener. It's still an interface. So if you implement mouse motion listener, you need to override two methods, mouse drag and mouse move. But if you extend a mouse motion adapter, 
it's, it's, an, it's an adapter class, we extend it. You need to override the method that you need. So if you need both of them, override mouse drag and mouse move. But if you only need one of them, just override what you need. So in our sample code right here, I've created a class called two listeners. So I implemented two listeners, mouse motion listener and mouse listener. Now, the advantage of implementing listeners is you can implement multiple listeners. Since these are interfaces, you can, you're allowed to have multiple uh, listeners or you can implement multiple listeners. But again, if you implement multiple listeners, you're supposed to override all the methods inside mouse motion listener and all the methods inside mouse listener. So if you're going to count all of them, for mouse motion, let's take a look. Mouse motion listener, I need to override mouse drag and mouse move. For mouse listener, I need to override mouse clicked, mouse entered, mouse exited, mouse pressed, and mouse released. So there are five of them. So I, I need to override a total of seven methods if I will implement both of these listeners. So he, these are my components, my frame and my text field. I've instantiated my frame and my text field, and I've created a label inside my launch frame. Now, let's scroll down a bit. So these are, remember, I need to override all seven methods for both mouse motion, mouse motion listener and mouse listener. So these are the first three. I have the mouse drag, mouse entered, and mouse exited. But the rest of the gang, the rest of the, the other four methods, mouse move, mouse press, mouse click, and mouse release, they still need to be overridden. But since I don't have any use for them, I provided an empty implementation. Because, again, as per the interface's rule, you need to override all the methods inside the interface. So for all unused methods, we still need to write the signature followed by the method signature followed by the begin and curly brace, having an empty implementation. So if we try to compile two listeners to compile our code and to run our code, this is how it looks like. So we have a method for mouse drag, mouse entered, mouse exited. So here's my uh, mouse button, if I enter the frame, you'll see here mouse entered. If I exited the frame, the mouse has left the building. Entered, if I click on drag, mouse dragging, drag, and exit, mouse entered, mouse exit. So I only have um, three methods okay, for my uh, application. Of course, if you have these event handlers, we still need to register them that's why we have f dot add mouse motion listener and f dot add mouse listener both of them accepting the current object or this keyword because our event handlers are within the same class so if you are in need of event handling techniques that will span in multiple listeners it's nice to implement multiple listeners, but again, the downside is you're supposed to override all of them. Now, let's try to convert this code to adapter classes. So let's try to rename this with test adapter class. And let me save it as test adapter class. Oops, misspelled test adapter class dot Java. All right. Let's remove implement mouse motion listener. Instead, let's extend mouse, instead of saying listener, mouse adapter. Now for, most, for mouse adapter, okay, let's get rid of this by pressing control C. Let's check the API. For mouse adapter, here we go. If we scroll down, we're supposed to override several methods. Mouse press, release, move, exit. Oh, sorry. I can't override any number of methods because I'm using an adapter class. So let's say I just need 
mouse entered and mouse exited. Alright, so let's try to retain that. Mouse entered and mouse exited. Oh, you can also see that mouse drag is also a part of mouse listener. So, we already have that right here. Okay, so there's no need for me to implement or to extend mouse listener. So, let me remove or let me comment this out. I'll just use add mouse listener. Why not use add mouse adapter? Because there's no such method as add mouse adapter. Even if you're extending an adapter class, if you want to register these event handlers, you still need to use the method add, prefix with the add, followed by the listeners or followed by the name of the listener. So mouse, mo mouse listener. So add mouse listener. All right, and then since our event handlers are within the same class, they are written in the same class, we need to pass the current object. So just pass this. And then let's try to compile our new code test adapter class. Oops, all right. I need to change my constructor and also my title bar test adapter class example there we go compile java test adapter class so we're running essentially the same oops let's try to change this let's try to update uh, let's try to update the name of the class, oh, it's already there. Test adapter class example. Okay, let's try to compile this and run our code. Oh, why is it called to listener? Hmm. Oh, because of this. Okay, again, let's let's uh, update this. Let me change this with um, the name of the class. Test adapter class, copy, paste, test adapter class, new, test adapter class, test. Let's call it, let's call our object as test. There we go. Save it. And compile our code. Run our code again. Here we go. Test adapter class example. All right. So when we enter and exit our mouse pointer and if we click and drag oh we don't have the click and drag okay let's see what's wrong mouse dragging yeah. so mouse drag is not functioning because let's see mouse drag and then drag mouse drag it accepts a mouse event so let's try to debug our code. It accepts a mouse event. Ah, okay. Let me try to debug our code. Mouse tracking. Okay, save it. Mm, public void. Add mouse. All right, let's let's try to use the mouse motion listener. Okay, let's cancel this. Compile it again. All right, and run it again. Okay, drag. There you go. Dragging is already working so mouse dragging okay because dragging is uh, a part of the method add mouse motion listener i forgot i removed that okay some final thoughts before we end this video in creating event handlers sometimes you will be left at a crossroad whether to use listeners 
or adapter classes. Adapter classes are essentially abstract classes, while listeners are essentially interfaces, which means we use the keyword implements for listeners and extends for adapter classes or abstract classes. Since we have only a single inheritance rule in Java, you're, whenever you decided to use the adapter class, you're only allowed to extend a single class, a single adapter class, just like what we have in this example. Test adapter class extends mouse adapter. But if you decided to go to, to use listeners or implement listeners, you are allowed to implement multiple listeners inside a single Java source code, just like what we have here. Public class to listener implements mouse motion listener and mouse listener. Good side, bad side. You can implement as many listeners as you want. Of course, the downside, we need to override all the methods that we have. We need to override all the methods that you that is uh, located or that is indicated in these listeners. So what we have here, I have seven, total of seven methods. Even the methods that you don't need, they still need to be overridden. As for adapter classes, the nice thing about having uh, adapter class, you only need to override the methods that you need. You don't need to override the methods that you don't. So if I decided to remove this and save this, take a look, I only have three implemented methods. Okay, Instead of, since I'm extending a mouse adapter, for mouse adapter, there are several methods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have eight methods here, but in my code, I'm only using three event handlers. So if I save this, compile the code again, voila, it compiles and it runs. So we can still make use of adapter class or um, implement listeners. So in our next video, we will try to complete our uh, calculator application by providing event handling techniques. See you in our next video. Happy coding!